Hey Andrew, good session today. Hope you found it helpful. Just going to run through now the things that we saw through your swing. A lot of good things coming on now, so really, really good progress from lesson one now through to sort of lesson four or five here. Just going to look here now in terms of this movement on the left-hand side. Again, set it wide was good. Just a little bit pinched in here with the arms, so a little bit on the tighter side. So want to get a little bit sort of softer in here, more relaxed. I just want to get too tight and too tense. And for me, a little bit wide in the setup there. Okay, but overall, takeaway now, very, very good. The issue we had from here now was this shoulder here started going upwards as you were leaning backwards into the golf ball now. And as you can see, as you're coming into impact now, the head movement, just leaning back, not really getting the left side of your body over to that left and then when you try to get there a bit late you're going to start buckling that left knee and sliding a little bit too much so the movement you want to practice now and this was sort of the whole video on the right hand side now the sort of sequence you want to try and see on the range so to the side of the golf ball again more relaxing that setup maybe a slightly shorter back swing but from here now feel this motion here not so much with the knee but more so with this shoulder going down towards that left foot. So the knee does not want to be going outside of that foot, as we can see here now. So imagine that wall being there. <laughs> You're moving that shoulder down into the ground, and that's going to help the club now get down a bit more on top of the golf ball and get your low point of the swing to be more after the golf ball as opposed to behind and hitting up on the ball. And that causes that sort of top shot or the club hitting the mat before the ball, and you sort of grounding the club out a bit early so moving left as you can see now so doing this sort of three or four or five times get the feeling and once you get over the ball there now then get us feeling a sort of swipe in the arms here feeling the low point of that swing just brushing the mat as we see just left of the golf ball and then flinging through kind of up over that left shoulder with a nice full release of the body going through here you can see when you do this this foot stays back because you sort of slide your knees we want that rotation with that left hip there. So this is sort of the sequence we do. And this is the, throughout this process, this is where we're thinking so much. We're doing a load of thinking now, trying to feel this movement. What does it feel like when I get here, when I get there? And all these things, that's the better movement there, as you can see. And then once you've done that a few times, simply just step up to the golf ball. Only real focus now would be on a nice, relaxed setup with the arms, feet a bit narrower, and then one, two, three, hit the golf ball and get onto that left side. And you can see here now in this position, the foot's up on its toe nicely. There's a little bit of lean there, but certainly not as much as you can see when you go into this one here now, when you finish the swing. You can see the right foot, so the left foot here now, not really coming up on its toe as much. The ankle now, you can see sort of really leaning over on that left foot and the weight now hanging back. And what you do, you know what a good finish position looks like. So then you kind of move and get to where you want to get to but you've kind of got there really is a bit of a, a secondary thing in reality when you finish this swing you are back more with most of your weight favoring that right side so you want to get onto that left side by working that movement from the top so you're here now you're moving even on this one even after that practice you can see that left one still one sort of hang back a little bit but it's certainly a better impact here as we can see compared to this one here now where the weight is hanging back a lot more just leaning a bit more to your left your right side not really getting through onto that left side and as we said changing that low point of the goal swing so work on that practice and that transition up against that wall there get that left shoulder moving into it and it's just a question there's muscle memory the more you can do it the more that's going to become more natural and the less you're gonna to have to try and worry about thinking about it while hitting the golf ball so hope that all makes sense any questions obviously give me a shout and i'll see you soon